My name is Barry Cole. I'm the general manager here at Cab Automotive. We make interior trim components for the automotive industry uh, and uh, in particular foams for seats uh, and seat products. Cab Automotive uh, interior trim supplies uh, to a number of big OEMs. Essentially we supply to JLR, to Bentley, uh, to Aston Martin and then a number of other first tier suppliers. Uh, we have made foams for the last four years now uh, but very much uh, in a very manual way. Uh, we have carousels that are hand poured foams into uh, tools that effectively rotate on a, uh, a carousel uh, and we are very excited to really progress into, uh, into, this, uh, into this new era of foam production here at CAB. Really what I'm stood next to here today is uh, really the next generation in terms of foam manufacture. So this machine will make seat foams for a commercial van. It has 15 carriers, uh, will make 19 parts for us in total. Uh, when well, it's fully commissioned. It will go into production in the early part of 2014. We've uh, designed the equipment uh, in conjunction with Fremo. Um, Fremo have essentially done uh, an excellent job for us in terms of designing a very reliable, professional piece of equipment providing us with uh, many years of quality components. I'm Andy Mannion, project engineer at Cab Automotive and I've been working on the X82 foaming area um, that's been supplied by Fremo. The ease of the machine is from this main control unit um, that looks after the whole of the process and this is where we can um, change the parameters, turn tools on and off, review what's been going on and generally have a complete control of the, of the system that's behind me. Into the tools we place various wires and some hook and loop tape. The robot behind me has a 450 gram output and that's fed by a day tank um, for the polyol and the isocyanate um, which are then fed by a container station so we're, we're um, feeding the day tanks automatically from the container station which has agitation to keep the um, components in suspension. Uh, the rise time of the foam is around about seven or eight seconds, so we have to start closing the tool very quickly. The, the cure time is around four minutes. We'll be producing one at full tilt every 30 seconds. This is far easier to control than the old system. Basically, we have a robot that's running consistent pour patterns. Each and every time the robot goes, um, it will pour exactly the same pattern. It ties in with the conveyor, uh, whereas the old system we hand pour each and every time. If we have any problems, uh, we can pick up uh, the phone and speak to Fremo. They can get onto this and re have remote access to control all this side of things. The, the service that we've had from Fremo has been really excellent. I've phoned them all sorts of hours and had quick and positive responses at each and every time. Uh, this Pitta kit is um, a very significant investment for us at CAB and really this is the culmination of a journey that has taken us from what was a very manual process to now a fully automated uh, piece of equipment. Uh, we're very excited and essentially this will become a state-of-the-art production facility for us that uh, really is second to none.